Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question if you could use a point-to-point -point wireless Wi-Fi bridge something like this thing here for gaming. Does it have a really good stable connections, not too many lags or other network problems? I've tried this because I mean when you have some network problems then you can solve it in uh, some different ways of course always you can use wired connection to have a faster or more stable connection but if it's too far away like you have a really large home then it could be difficult of course you could also buy a better wireless receiver or a sender or like routers or these things or also buy a whole home mesh system but they also do not solve all the problems even though they make really bold claims in their advertisements i have tried many and yeah there are still quite some problems and of course there are also these power LAN adapters which can solve some problems and i have been working a lot with them in the past and they solve some problems they even work somehow for gaming but now in my case it's also very difficult so at this point i thought yeah okay let's try this one here maybe i can use it and i was using this for a rocket league game or a couple of games because rocket league is very picky when it comes to network problems and so here i have a couple of screenshots for you with my ping and how good or bad it was you can see also yeah nice result here uh, 61 ping that was pretty good it was a lot in the range of around uh, I would say 45 to 65 there were a couple of intermediate problems I mean something like that little bit of a problem not big time problem but I had yeah I think uh, here yeah also 60 then here 77 then here 118 and I got this latency variation uh, warning which is definitely something which you don't want then back to 64 63 uh, 47 yeah that was uh, especially at the beginning and then after some time it went back to 47 that was usually my lowest ping and then in between I had this crazy thing where it was showing absolutely crazy warnings latency variation packet loss everything and uh, a ping of 183 and during this time it was absolutely impossible to play but this was just about i would say uh for 20 seconds or so and then it went into normal mode again so it was not a permanent thing it was just like this for a very short time i've been playing uh, in total uh, for around i would say about half an hour again this problem was uh, for around 20 seconds uh, I would say uh, most of the time about 98 or 99 percent of the time it was really good playable for some time I was feeling some m minor delays uh, what's a good thing I was never uh, kicked out of any game so there was no serious issue but this thing here for short time was definitely not a good thing and I mean the thing is that I'm not too far away how I configured that in my home that these like the sender and the receiver they are just about 25 feet apart which is definitely not a lot I mean they are talking about uh, kilometers or even miles here down here it's a little bit hard to see but they are talking about three kilometer transmission distance but of course this means you have to have visible uh, unobstructed environment and uh, this is total different thing when you work in a home I mean we are not talking about 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi it's more like 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi which means that especially concrete walls or so are a big problem for such connections even though when, when it's really strong signal I mean high quality things uh, whatsoever but they can't do anything about that when you have really uh, thick walls or so then even with such expensive centers and the receiver can be still quite some problem and in my case there was not even a concrete wall in between there are only two or three dry walls in between this is pretty crazy i mean i had it 
more or less on the floor where there are still also some furniture in between but still it's a little bit disappointing and i wouldn't expect too much but if you want to give it a try i mean i have also done some network speed tests and this is what uh, was delivered i mean i have uh, one gigabit upload download something like that with wow and this is the result which was delivered so i mean when you just do the normal speed test it shows usually pretty good results here i got around 30 32 uh, megabits upload download ping 30 milliseconds jitter 4 milliseconds something like that not not too bad results i would say if you want to see the details you can invoke it even here i mean this can be a solution for many problems and why not to have something like that in your home to have an alternate solution for some problems if you need i mean this definitely works good outside in a remote location like out in the barn definitely no problem yeah that's already it for now i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you next time